Hello everyone, welcome to the second part. If you missed the first part, just pause the video and go watch the first part, okay? And if you already watch it, then let's dive into the second part, okay? So in the first part, we already create the loading uh, things uh, like when the uh, the page load, uh, when you load the page, the all the animations going on, uh, sorry, coming on, um, okay? So yeah, so let's see what have we done on the first part, okay? So I just forgot to reload it, okay? So these all we have done in the first part, okay. When you reload, you'll see. <coughs> okay, so let's do the morphing animations. Okay, let's do it. So first, we'll start with the first section, I mean in the intersection, okay. It's a simple, like if you create the intro animations, intro morphing animation, then you just need to copy and paste and change the variable name and boom your uh, second intermission will be uh, also done okay so let's create document query selector and then cube box path okay so this cube box path sorry where is it uh, where is it yeah so this is the cube box path okay so now so these are fast path okay the d value so we are basically targeting that d value when you scroll down this d value, d value will keep changing okay and that's how it feel like say uh, morphing animations okay okay so i already have this i just need to copy and paste other d value so yeah this one okay now we need to create a step okay so cube step one now we will use our polymorph and polymorph syntax interpolate and over here we have two parameter q box q box 2 okay so basically it will start from q box and end in the in q box 2 then we need to add at points at points gonna be 0 and origin gonna be x and y okay and then optimize optimize gonna be fill cool so now I just to copy it, okay. So now it should be step, and it should be um, cube box two to cube box three, okay. And to add another one, it will be cube step three. It will be cube step three to cube step four. So the animation will go cube box one, two, and two, three, and three, four, okay. So now we need to create bell, okay. So let bell prop zero so this prop basically changing and our animation we will see the animation okay so prop changing and now i need to make it three okay so now i need to create tra a timeline uh, let's create a timeline so gsap timeline and defaults we will add durations is you can experiment with this like however you want okay and now we will animate with this timeline so it will be two and our bellu will target in the bellu and then prop one okay so we'll making the prop zero to one and on update on update a function will call we'll call the on update function okay on update function and then inside it we will add q box set attribute as we are targeting d we need to add d okay and cube step okay cube step one bell prop okay so now we need to do the same thing copy sorry okay yeah copy again okay cool so it should be two and it should be three and you need to remove it Okay, and it should be two, three, two, three, yeah. I think that's it. Two, three, yeah, two, three, up, up. So now I need to create a scroll trigger, okay. Because without scroll trigger, how are you gonna, or we gonna scroll, or we, we get the scroll animations, okay. So trigger, and we'll targeting basically the intro, okay. So intro section, this is the intro section. So and then we'll pin it. 
so they will get the animation perfectly and animations will be cube anim so we are basically targeting this timeline okay so yeah and then we will add scrub for uh, what it called smooth uh, smooth scrolling okay and yeah i think that's it let's see what exactly or how is it look like yeah oh it's look great isn't it how smooth this is do you see Ooh. okay so let's do the second part okay so this is the second part let's do it sorry second intro animations or you can say second morphing animations morphing animations okay so in the second part we'll I, I think i just need to copy and paste okay oh, cool and now i need to add i i named it pattern because this looks like pattern on the second part so i named it pattern and also named it pattern so also named it pattern second i think how is it or oh, this one pattern second it is pattern second and now i need to copy and paste my other d value so i have only two one so i think i need to okay, okay so so if you add uh, like more then yeah you can add it and also i will show you how you can create custom d value okay like a path svg path okay so here yeah, the step gonna be pattern step and it, it will be q box to pattern pattern a to sorry pattern to pattern a pattern a to pattern b and it should be pattern step two and i need to remove it because we don't have much path or path below over here or d below over here so i need to name it over again pattern below and pattern below 2 and I need to clear it okay it should be pattern enim okay so I need to make it pattern enim yeah I think everything is perfect yep so now I need to change the below okay you need to be like more focused over here because you are changing you are not coding something so just perfectly change all the below we don't need one okay and yeah we don't need it and we need to add this one so these are our section so we'll add it over here so i think that's it oh no one thing's left so we are like working on second intro so this will be a second intro and our in uh, timeline name pattern name okay so i think yeah it's cool let's see how does it work so yeah if we go there oh my god oh my god we make mistake i think oh we had cube step over here do you see we need to add this step okay not cube step yeah i think that's it let's see if i just scroll yep oh did you see boom, 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 boom. yeah so yeah that's it let's do the third one i mean the footer so i think you can do it yourself so um uh, you know how to do it okay so i think you can try it i will not do it okay so you just need to change all the value make it third uh, one and then you need to make it pattern third like so if i go there pattern third you know so this is the pattern third so you named it like uh, the class name so pattern third A and then pattern third B and you know all the stuff, am I right? Sorry, it should be pattern third A, okay. And it should be pattern third A and we need to remove it. Okay, so you need to edit pattern third step one, pattern third step two. So you can do it yourself, okay. So if you face any problem, just comment below. Okay, I will I will drop the code there. Okay, so yeah, you can try it yourself. But uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's do the uh, uh, let's do our own pattern. Okay, I will show you how you can create your own pattern uh, using Figma. So let's go the Figma. So yeah, over here. So yeah, I experiment with so many pattern. <laughs> you see, so many pattern. I also try gradient. Okay. 
so yeah these are hero section this one you see it okay so this one this one okay so and this one basically that one i think oh, oh this one sorry the third one okay so let's do this one okay so for this you need to use so many rectangle okay so many you can just uh, copy uh, first make this okay suppose i create a rectangle okay and then i create a copy and then i create this one okay it's perfectly match then i create this 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 okay one two three four five so yeah so now i need to add an overlay okay so if i just make it 20 percent now you just need to copy this pen tool and select okay let's uh, add a fill and uh, remove this stroke and if i now drag it over here and change the color it basically looks like this one like same to same so yeah that's how you can create a uh, um custom sbg okay for morphing uh, you can add more uh, rectangle over here like just drag in click alter and drag the rectangle okay you can create you know okay yeah and then using pen tool you can create another sbg which basically the like a yeah, pattern a pattern b you know you know that so that's it guys i hope you like the video okay if you like the video uh click on the like button and you know if you haven't subscribed subscribe my channel and yeah that's it see you on the next tutorial stay tuned guys and bye bye you know the rules and so do I.